Sammy and I are up here by the number two, three, three and a half and four adits, the mine openings. And we're going to take a walk in and see what we could find today. Uh, the snakes are not out yet, it shouldn't be, and the ticks either. And uh, certainly the vegetation hasn't grown yet, so we should be able to get in a little ways. We made it up to the ledge here, and this is probably one of the mines that collapsed. Starting down here to my right would be the two and three, three and a half and four. Not sure which one this would be, but you can see how the rocks have collapsed right there. Buckled and broke. It's definitely a, probably one of the mine adits. It's all filled in now. Another indentation in the ground here. Probably another adit. Maybe the number four slope. Number five, which they named the, the hill after, that's up further on the hill. According to our maps, this area here was where two, three, three and a half, and four adits were. This water that's coming out here is obviously from one of the mines. I don't think there was any springs up here, and uh, this has to be one of the uh, adits that's draining. Somebody put a plastic pipe to funnel some of the water down. Some's going alongside the pipe, but it runs all the way down along here. On top of the ledge behind that last adit, which is possibly the number four adit right here, according to the maps that we have, anyway. The metal that was obviously from mining, we're standing right above the number three and a half shaft or slope rather adit. It uh, collapsed part of it in 1896, and Martin Cummings Jr. was killed, he was 23 years old. But it was right here, and looking at that last indentation there in the ground, that's got to be number four. It was definitely in a mine there. We're standing up here on the ledges behind number two and three adits. We're up on top. We're going to try to work our way around and get down the bottom. And right behind me, you can see there's a lot of slag. All this came out of these mines here. It was a lot of waste, and uh, obviously a lot of coal taken out if they got this much waste. We're walking behind these adits on top of the land where they were mining under and we're looking to find our way down now so we can walk in front of the uh, where the openings were they're all collapsed now but those two that I first filmed I believe they were the number three and a half and four we gotta see if we can find a number two and three now we're probably getting closer to the uh, number two and three adits See my white car down there through the woods. We got to find a way down to look into these slopes. Sam is scoping out the upper ridge. I'm down on the lower ridge. We're going to find a way down to these openings. Still working our way down. I'm aiming down here towards where the bird's eye breaker, later known as the white oak breaker, was down this area here. And apparently, all this coal supplied that breaker from these adits and many more adits in town. I made it down to the ledge where these mine openings are and Sammy's right behind me I think. Some kind of a dip in the ground here. Not sure if it was a, a collapsed mine or what. According to that map we have, the 1864 Archibald map, there was a Methodist church here in 1864. So I'm not sure if it was, this is part of that foundation, maybe it's not a mine collapse, or if it's down further, the church. But there was definitely a church here, according to the map, in 1864, and it was a Methodist church, down somewhere near the bottom of the hill where me and Sammy are right now. And he's gone down to look, see if there's any uh, further uh, remains, foundation remains. In this area here, According to the maps, has to be the number two and three at it. And it's all pockmarked here. I mean, there's definitely a lot of mining activity. But that old map that we have says they were here. Another view of this area. With all the big pocked marked holes here. It's hard to say exactly where, but they were in here. 
definitely more evidence of mining. Some kind of piece of wood here, old wood with some kind of eye hook in it. A lot of metal around it. Looks like a hollowed out pole, or it could be a tree stump, but it looks more like a pole. We're getting closer to some more ruins up here from the mines. Another hole in the ground here, could have been a mine opening. And we're coming up on some concrete ruins. Old concrete wall with moss on it. Don't know if this was part of the church, if it was up this high, or part of the mining operation there. That even could have been a, a mine opening with that rock collapsed in front of it. It's hard to say. That was a long time ago, but this foundation is pretty much intact and it's concrete. Looks like another piece of concrete that's covered with moss. Could it have been part of the foundation from that church? Or part of a mining operation building here? Big rocks up top. Looks like a coal seam in that one rock there. But that's where they found the coal, along these rock walls, and they dug in the four adits. But we gotta research and see if this was the foundation of that Methodist church. It, according to the map, which I'm gonna post on the video after, it was about this far up, number five hill. And I'm not sure what they would use a foundation like this for in a mine adit. See, I'm looking at another possible opening. There's a lot of soft shale rock there. Dave is up on top of the rock there. And he just looked it up on his map on the phone. He said, uh, I'm standing not far from the boiler house. So this foundation maybe was from the uh, a boiler house and not the church. Sam found an opening up there that's closed now and Joyce and Dave are way up on top of the rocks. Somebody built a shed back here. A metal shed. Looking up at these cliffs and they are quite high. Almost looks like a mine underneath that rock there. I don't there. think it'll be open, but there... Looks like there was mines up there too. And all on those cliffs. Down, but I didn't go with... Passing by the old Black Diamond Hose Company here. This was the door in the front where the trucks went in. That's where we were, up in those cliffs walking. We walked way up top. Yeah, but it's came much right easier around. to get... Yeah. <laughs> a lot of rocks up in there. We just came out of there. It's going to be growing in in a few months. We won't be able to get in there with all the vegetation.